Hey everybody, um, I wanted to do a quick video today to introduce you to a, what I think is a pretty cool tool that Stephen McGuire from the Enterprise DNA Forum and I uh, put together to help you with your structured practice. And I've talked a lot about structured practice, um, particularly in that five strategies to enhance your DAX toolbox um, video. And then following that video, Melissa DeCorte did an excellent video on creating a perpetually updated practice data set. And I kind of merged the two, the two concepts to come up with this with this tool, and I can show you what it does. So if you go to the external tools menu, we'll talk about how to download and install this. But um, you go to practice data set, and you you click click on that, click yes to let the PowerShell script to execute. And then what this does is this opens a new instance of Power BI, and loads a practice data model that perpetually updates um, based on three years of data up to today's date. And what I've done is basically taken Melissa's M code for the sales table, having that update, and then added her extended date table, and then just a series of dimension tables, customers, product, regions, channels, um, for just kind of a basic sales data set. And so the hope is that this will be good for both just structured practice on DAX and M. We've also included the Excel file um, that formed the underlying sales data so that you can go into Power Query and practice transformations. Um, and the other thing we, we hope this is going to be useful for is for people who respond on the forum. That our hope is in most cases um, people who post will provide their PBIX file. But in some cases they don't, and so in responding it really helps to have just a clean, straightforward data set on which to test out specific solutions. And so having that just available at the click of a button, we're hoping, is, is helpful to those people who are volunteering their time to respond on the, uh, the forum generating solutions. Um, so I can show you how we, we did this. Um, and when I started, it seemed pretty easy. Um, in that this was the first the first iteration of what I developed and basically um, if you close down that long icon code um, toggle word wrap you'll see there's really just seven arguments that you need to fill in and most of them are, are quite straightforward and so developing this for your own use is pretty easy what I came to learn is developing it for other people to use is a lot more difficult than I'd expected and kind of beyond my capabilities because what it turns out is people obviously use different browsers, they use different versions of Power BI, some 32-bit, some 64-bit, and in addition to the the type of Power BI desktop they're using, they install it from different locations. Some people install it directly and some from the Microsoft Store. And this is where Steven's expertise really came in, that he developed a detailed PowerShell script that handles all of those, those possibilities in a really elegant way and installs the, the files properly and lets you run it kind of regardless of what your configuration is. So um, in that forum post that we posted um, today, if we go back to that, there's a zip file at the bottom. And if you want to use this, just download that zip file, um, copy it to your desktop. You'll want to close Power BI. And the other thing is you'll need to have administrative rights to your machine. That You won't be able to copy the, the files into the right location without that. But if you've got that, then basically just take and unzip that, that zip file um, to a temporary folder on your desktop. And what you'll what you'll see in there is you'll see two JSON files in a folder that says practice data set. And the JSON files, um, the first one is if you're using the 64-bit version. The second one is if you're using the 32-bit version of Power BI Desktop. And basically, whatever version you're not using, delete that, delete that, that file. So if you're using the 32-bit, delete this one. If you're using the 64-bit, delete the 32-bit. And then copy the file remaining and the practice data set folder to the location that I'll show on screen. 
And when you copy that in and then reopen Power BI, what you'll see is in your external tools menu, you'll see that practice data set. And you just click on that, allow the PowerShell script to run, and that'll chug through. And once that, once that finishes initializing the data set and bringing it up to today's date for the three years of, of data in there, you'll get a, you'll get a clean file with a measures uh, table. And I, I think I've just put a basic total sales measure in there to keep that, that table at the top of the list. And then the other tables here, and you're good to go. So that is, um, that's how to use it and install it in, in a nutshell. Obviously we can't provide direct um, technical support if you have problems, um, but if for some reason you do have problems and you're not able to get that installed in your external tools menu, what you can do is still go to that practice data set file and just create a shortcut to the PBIX file on your desktop. And you won't be able to call it from the external tools menu, but whenever you need a practice data set, you just click on that shortcut and it'll initialize the data set, bring it up to today's date, and put you basically back where we were um, on this, uh, this page. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you found that useful, um, please throw the video a like and subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV as we've got a lot more content coming out in the near future. So again, hope that was helpful and I'll see you next video.